Hello everybody, welcome to Lolly Queen Zone. I am Lolly. Today happens to be one of my exciting moments because I am coming to share with you something that I've held on to for so many years now and I think everybody deserves to know it and apply it to their lives as well. As young people, as parents, as siblings, as friends, we are supposed to impact our friends and family very positively or in a positive way this saying or this phrase is what has kept me confident throughout um, these years and i think i have to share it with everybody i was in primary school i think in primary three and my sister was in jhs i don't know jhs one i don't really remember exactly but she came back from school environment and you know feel the atmosphere so what do you mean by saying no to silence she didn't mean by, by the environment she meant you know being silent being forced to keep quiet being threatened she said she was told that in class by her teacher a social studies teacher or something i don't know what they were treated but it's, it's definitely violence maybe it's domestic violence or whatever but but all that she was trying to it's for us to be able to speak up when we need to you know there are two laws that our land gave us it's your right to remain silent and your right to speak nobody should force you to talk when you want to remain silent and nobody should force you to remain silent when you want to talk in conclusion you don't need to be threatened in any form of way to keep quiet because you have your right to speak you have your right to speak. You have your right to remain silent. That's why when police is arresting someone, they tell you that you have the right to keep quiet because everything you say will be used against your court of law. So there are two rights that we have: your right to speak and your right to remain silent. People would, some people will take advantage of you and tell you to keep quiet. Don't tell anybody. If you tell somebody, I'm gonna harm you. Listen. Somebody needs to hear you. Somebody needs to hear your voice. You need to talk to somebody. They can take a shame for you. They can console you, but you need somebody. If only it's not your role to keep quiet over it. If only it's killing you inside for keeping quiet, you need to talk to somebody. Nobody has to manipulate you to keep quiet. You have your right to speak. Don't let anyone threaten you. I mean, mothers that are watching this, you know, sisters, brothers, like, you are supposed to look out for your siblings, your children, your friends. That is the best words that you can say to them. Say no to silence. It's because a lot of people are afraid to come out. That's why they are still being abused. They are still being maltreated. They are still being used. If it's only not your will to be in that particular situation, then you have to speak up to speak up talk to somebody somebody who you know genuinely can help you not just anybody some people are just corporate as well just somebody that you know can help you it may be hard to trust people or to know who you want to talk to but try just don't remain silent Say no to the silence. You have your right to speak up. You have your right to be listened to. I am part of an NGO called Age, Advocates for Girl Child Empowerment. If you want to be part of this, please come and join us. What we do is we, if you want to be part of this or you want to assist us in any way that you can, just join us. What we do is that we seek to the welfare of the girl child, not just girls, but major um, the major component is girls. 
by we also do that out for white as well. What we do is that we train them in anything pertaining to their health and their well being. We tell them their rights, what they need to know, and we also train them with vocational skills. We teach them entrepreneurship and basically everything that we know we want to inspire other people to you know become better than they think or they ever thought. So if you like this video, please comment, share, and like, and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified any other time I post a video. Please, this is part one, part two for those.